what would you say for the you know person that's either looking to buy or sell? What do they look for when selecting the right real estate, uh, sorry, the right real estate agent or the right brokerage? Um, okay, so probably some of the same things. I would definitely say somebody that is in real estate to be in real estate. So you're mm -hmm. high, you, you're selling the most valuable, one of the most valuable things that you own, and you're paying a, a pretty penny in order to do so. Um, mm -hmm. So I would say that the qualities have to match that. So somebody mm -hmm. that is um, a professional that is um, able to provide the value when it comes to their um, history, as well as their dedication, um, their software, the technology, like how are, you know, if I was a seller, how are you going to market uh, my house as, as competition against mm -hmm. every other house that's on the market? Um, and, you know, as a seller, obviously I know that being in real estate. So I say this from my perspective, because when we flip properties, we allow agents to sell them, uh, whoever brings us the deal, they can actually sell the property. Well, in that, right. the conversation is, how are you going to sell my house? Mm. And what are you bringing to the table? What value are you? Because I would love to pay you to be my agent. And that is a part of you bringing us a deal. However, selling this property, this is, I need a top quality agent. And so <clears throat> professional photos, means and ways of marketing those professionally. Do you know what buyers mm -hmm. are looking for? How they're looking for them? Do you know what sites they're looking on and how to position that property the best that they that you know you possibly can for buyers to grab it? And then once you start showing it, what are you doing from there? So do you have right. a show the property or are you making a phone call? Are you talking to them about all the highlights and features of my you know, my house compared to other houses and location, are you asking questions to, to see if this house could fit their needs? Because really one MLS feature and walking through the property one time may not tell them everything that they need to know about that house. And I feel right. like where a lot of agents fail is they'll let people view the house, they'll let all these agents go, and then there's no follow-up. They won't even mm. tell the seller what's going on. What did the buyer say? What do they like? What do they not like? What are they qualified for? Where are they coming from? You know, help me help sell this house. And if I can't sell it to you, like give me some feedback so I know what buyers are seeing. And that's right. a huge quality uh, when it comes to listing a house that I feel like sellers don't always know to ask. Um, mm. Haven't haven't been there before and then the concierge service from contract to close how are you going to keep us under contract and notify me of what i do and i don't need to be doing right now because there's different seasons where sellers actually have to make repairs versus other seasons and right. where you you don't have to make repairs so you know how much information and knowledge do you have when it comes to walking somebody to tra transaction from transaction to close uh, for the most smooth process possible. Mm. So do you think for people like vetting, like for, like let's say I'm the seller, I'm looking to vet the realtor. Would you recommend like setting up an in-person meeting or like going to the website to see how many previous listings they sold? Like I wouldn't want to be the one who's like getting practice on, you know what I mean? Like, oh, this is your first time trying to sell? It's like going yeah. in for open heart surgery. It's like, oh, like this is your first time, eh? <laughs> Mm -hmm. you know here we go so what would you say like where, where should people look like should they set up an in-person meeting should they go to the website look for a proven track record there like where can they turn to find this information yeah used to you'd be able to go to the common uh well-known sites like realtor.com and zillow um but now they've regulated those sites the true records aren't even on there so mm -hmm. if somebody's not paying for premier uh placement on those websites then the reality of what they've done is is not on there um, oh, wow. Yeah, so you could could look and find some things, um, but reviews and referrals, I think, have been a staple uh, for any mm -hmm. business, any industry. Mm -hmm. Finding out what other people have to say about the company. Obviously, the more they are online, um, if you're finding them on YouTube and different social media channels, and if you're googling them and you're finding them, then they have an idea of how to, you know, market online. Um, right. and then definitely an in-person meeting and knowing the questions to ask. Um, and I, I have heard that a lot of sellers are YouTubing things and finding, you know, what questions to, to ask their sellers. 
if they have not been referred an agent. Mm. Typically, if they've been referred an agent, they have 90% trust that that is the right agent. Um, for sure. Yeah, they're definitely on their own and, and doing research, but asking for um, referrals as well, references, mm. sorry, asking for references. Um, I think anytime, most of the time, for instance, I've just gone to hire a coach and my next question after the first interview was, Hey, um, can you send me references? I want to call five people that have gone from this part of their business to this part of their business. And I want to mm. see social media sites and YouTube channels, you know, for what you're offering, for what you've done for people over the last six months. Mm. And so if they can't come up with anything, then there's something wrong. And I think it's the mm -hmm. same in the um, sales industry and real estate. If you ask them, they should be able to pop off five people that they've worked with that would love to give them references. And, um, you know, if you care about their social media sites, they should be able to show you how they're showcasing another, another listing and what it's done for them. Absolutely. And, you know, I think if they have that presence online, it shows that they're allocating time towards ensuring that their business is growing, right? It shows that they're sold on what they're doing. Yeah, that, that, that's yeah. well said, well said.